Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've been playing around with crepe paper so I wanted to give these little uh, crepe paper rosettes a try. Um, I was inspired because Anna who's Serenity Creations here on YouTube in our Valentine swap she sent me some heart shaped ones which I did give this a try too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to create these. Um, just the circular rosette kind, but all you have to do is take your favorite uh, thin lit die cut and just find one that fits, you know, within the, the size of the rosette and you just run it through your die cutting machine. So that's all I did to create these. It's super simple and they, it, I mean, it's crepe paper. So of course the die is going to cut through it like butter. So um, but I'll show you how to do these and then you could definitely give these a try if you're, you know, interested in making the heart shaped ones. So I did pick up some uh, crepe paper from the Dollar Tree. I definitely wanted to start off with these. I want to get some of the ones with polka dots and other little things on it. But I wanted to make sure that I could make it properly before I, I invest money. And of course, you can get these at the Dollar Tree for one buck. So that's kind of where I started. And of course, you'll need a pair of scissors and... I'm gonna use this stapler, which I love. I picked this up at the uh, at Tuesday morning, and this is actually perfect for it because it has a nice little hand grip, and you can kind of move to the center of the rosette to uh, go ahead and staple it. But any stapler will do um, as long as you can reach into the center and put a couple of staples there. So let me move some of these out of the way. Um, so what you'll need here, let me move these actually a little bit further. So what you'll need is about a yard or so of the crepe paper. So I'm gonna cut that um, at about a yard. So you may have a little extra, but um, it's better to have a little bit more than not enough. And I just had a pair of scissors and now I don't see them. They're probably under those rosettes. That's all right, we'll get another pair. So go ahead and uh, cut it, of course, flat. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do the little pleats on there. It's pretty simple. I mean, if you're interested in making these and they look so cute in like different patterns, um, like with polka dots or whatever else. So, um, so what you're going to do, of course you want to use your, you want to leave your dominant hand free. So I'm right handed. Um, and then you use your other hand to do the gathering. So all you're going to do is you're just going to fold and pleat. And what you want to, what's important is to keep your thumb on where you're gathering the pleats as you kind of go around in a circle, because that's going to help it to stay together. So, and so you can see it's already starting to form and I'll kind of show you guys where, how I staple mine to keep it together. And you're just going to keep folding and keep pleating. And so you can see I'm starting to turn the paper as well. Uh, uh, in a clockwise um, motion and you're just going to keep doing that and keep folding and keep pleating and just making sure that your thumb is kind of staying right on that little part where all the where you're gathering everything now when I get about halfway in here I like to put a little staple underneath here just to make sure everything's kind of staying together so I put a little staple there and then you can just continue with your pleats and just keep turning and pleating at the same time. I mean, it's super simple and you can make, once I got the rhythm of it, I did mess up <laughs> quite a few um, just cause I couldn't figure out how to hold it right. So, but once I got, you know, the hang of it, then I started just cranking them out and cranking them out. So now I feel comfortable to go out and get some other colors. I think I might try Walmart or maybe Party City to get some really fun crepe paper. So you can see it's almost all the way formed. So you wanna keep going until your pleats start to overlap your original pleat, which I think we're just about there. Yes, yeah, we're there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this excess. So you probably need a little bit less than a yard because that was about a yard that I cut. So you're gonna leave just a little bit, just a little flap and you just need to tuck that under. And then now here's where you're gonna start to do your little staples. 
So just slide your stapler till you get into the, like the center of the rosette. And then you're just gonna put a couple of staples just to make sure you keep it together. And it's as easy as that. And then now you have a really cute little rosette. And then these look so cute when you layer. You can put die cuts on top or however you wanna layer them on your project, but super duper fun. I think I'm gonna put one more staple in the center there. But the, yeah, this stapler right here is kind of perfect for this. And then there you have it. And then you can make tons. I think I'm gonna get lots of colors and just kind of store them so that when I wanna use them and layer them on some projects, I will have them ready to go in lots of different colors. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.